start talking about Halloween kills. Yep. Um, no spoilers right now, but we might end up getting into spoilers, but we'll let you know just in case. Um, we'll give you a warning. We'll wave or do something. Cody usually does time codes after the fact, too. Oh, so okay. if you're watching on uh, pay attention, not Cody. Live, pay attention, Cody. You sexy son who's, of a bitch. Who's daddy? Cody's technically daddy because he's the only dad. But he um, is daddy. Uh, we'll talk uh, non-spoilers right now. Uh, you've seen it twice? Yes. I saw it twice. Brian? I saw it kind of, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is kind of? I was of? like, I just had it on I the I put back. it on Peacock in the background when I was I, doing uh, my dishes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, background. You, you don't care for these movies. I, no. Brian. It, I mean, he didn't dress for the occasion, so I guess yeah, that You guys have, everything. like, swag and everything. I just have a Super Mario shirt. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't care for 2018, mm -hmm. but I do Well, like, hold on. What about your what? Are you, what about the original John Carpenter? Movie? I, I like the original. Like, okay, it's, it's good. If but, you would have said I was like, yeah, it's not that good. But we, we watched it in recent. We did a commentary oh, for it, that. It's silly as fuck. Still, like, like, it's it's good for its time. I don't think it holds up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's silly, and we talked about it last week. We're yeah. just like, oh, oh. Help me, please. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lori, Lori's kind of like the worst yeah. when it comes to. But yeah. The How new... many times can you drop a knife before I'm like, yeah. you dumb bitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, if you were saying that to the original, what were you saying to the new movie about the characters and being dumb? Yeah. Okay. It well, happens quite a bit. <laughs> it happens quite a bit. Yeah. All right. Uh, Adam, I'm going to ask Adam first. Okay, go for it. Wait, Christian, you saw it twice. I saw it twice. Once in the theater? Once in the theater. I did see it in the theater. I, and and Peacock. Oh, I saw it twice in the theaters. So. Oh, Ooh, look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, again, because I was doing that press junket, and uh, Universal yeah. was like, go to Century City and watch it. I was like, okay. Yeah. I was the only person in that theater who did not flinch at any point during the <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I yeah, desensitized. Desensitized. It's just like, yeah. oh, he's right there. Yeah. He's yeah. Right there. There's like a, well, we'll get into it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into specifics. We're not going to go into specifics yeah. right away. Don't we'll just talk general vagueness. Of the film, Adam. Yeah. Your overall thoughts on Halloween Kills, the 2021 sequel to Halloween 2018, which is the sequel to the original Halloween <laughs> 1978. There's so just many movies. Case, just called a Halloween. remake sequel. Yeah. 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 I have mixed feelings about it. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I really liked, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of things that I thought could have been way better. Mm -hmm. And I'm especially kind of, I don't want to say disappointed. I think disappointed is the wrong word, but I'm a little surprised considering they had a whole <laughs> year. Yeah. That they didn't go in and like tighten it up a little bit and remove things that I thought were kind of pointless and useless. Ooh. Yeah. I think the the kills are really great. Yeah. I know some people were saying like, this is the most brutal we've ever seen Michael Myers. And I'm like, did everybody miss the Rob Zombie Halloween movie? Yeah. Because uh, yeah. that movie like, sprays blood everywhere. Uh, yeah. And I also feel like some of the kills, not all of them, but there's a couple in there that they pulled them from other Halloween movies. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so, like, all that stuff I like. Anything that's action-oriented or revolves around, you know, Michael Myers killing people is all great. Yeah. Everything everything with Michael. Yeah. Like, you yeah, got him. was really you, great. You nailed him. You nailed yeah. the viciousness of Michael. Yeah. yeah. I think my biggest issue with the movie is that it's juggling too many storylines at once. Yeah. And I don't know if this is a spoiler. I don't really feel like it is. Mm -hmm. But... Lori kind of is treated the same way that she's in the original Halloween 2. In the second. Yeah. That's what I was like. This yeah. is kind of a remake of this mm -hmm. Halloween 2. Exactly. Because she's in the hospital the whole time. She's in the hospital the whole time. Yeah. And there are other characters going out. You know, I mean, this is not a spoiler. Mm -hmm. Tommy Doyle is like trying to get all of Haddonfield to go after Michael Myers. Yes. That includes Allison. That includes Lonnie and his son. Mm -hmm. That includes, you know, everybody in the town of Haddonfield. Mm -hmm. But then it just starts to like segment and it, it has kind of, all these different stories and i'm like i don't give a shit about half of these things yeah. that are happening it does sort of deviate away from like like the, the your simple premise the town of haddonfield goes to hunt down michael myers and that's kill him so that's simple. that's great and it's yeah. it is simple because halloween is supposed to be simple exactly but then yeah you you complicate it with a bunch of other things and yeah try I, to get themes and like all this shit into it, it yeah because yeah. like like we were talking we did a commentary for the first halloween check it out on patreon 2018 one. 20, yeah we did that's what i just said well, you said first Halloween. Well, that could mean 1970. This, this new trilogy. Can we just? Can I just say? I think it's so dumb that they yeah. named the last movie Halloween. Yeah, I think so. Too. They should have named it like Halloween Lives or Halloween, Halloween Returns, Returns or something. Returns. Yeah, something. Well, Scream anyway. is going to be Scream. Yeah, Scream yeah, Five is going to be. How do you have Scream One through Four and then Scream again? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? If with you, the same people. With the yeah. same people. Yeah. If they, it, if they, they're, 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 it's just they're the thing they're, yeah. they're going to be doing. If they make a new Nightmare on Elm Street, it's going to be a Nightmare on Elm Street. The third Nightmare on Elm Street. They redid that with Sam Bayer's one. That was bad. 
Which one? Oh, Nightmare on uh, Elm Street. Is that Sam Bayer, the direct, the music uh, video director? Oh yeah, Jackie Earl Haley. Yeah, yeah, that oh. was so bad. Yeah, yeah. I was, was so excited good. for that one. I've seen it once, and that's um, it. Anyway, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of in the same thing. I in my first text to Cody after the after the movie, I was like, um, hmm, what just happened? What what, what happened yeah. here? Because it, it, there there are a lot of really cool things about totally. it. But I was just I I. I think when I first saw the 2018 version of Halloween, um, I wasn't as jazzed about it until rewatching it. And mm. then rewatching it and rewatch, I grew to love it a lot more because yeah. I really loved Lori and her story with her family. The 2018. You didn't love one. it right away? Not, not right away. I thought it was oh. just fine oh. coming out. But then I grew to love it over time. And I really, really loved their story just yeah. of the mother, the daughter, the granddaughter. I loved all that aspect of it. And so I was so interested to see how they were going to like tackle that in this one. Yeah. And I went into this movie blind. I didn't see the trailer because I, oh, I, I, really? st I stay away from trailers for movies that I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to see yeah. it. Yeah. You know, like I'll, I'll, I watched the Batman trailer. He's like, it's yeah, Batman. Yeah. You know, Ultimately, I, I almost feel like that was maybe an advantage for you. I don't know. I personally felt like after watching the movie and having seen both trailers, I was like, Wow, there's a lot of shit. In the I trailers. watched the trailer last night yeah. for the first time. And I was like, "Whoa!" The giveaway. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like well, there's like no the, the the like not the last shot of the movie, but like the ending of the movie is in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, but, it is weird with Halloween 2018. They set up so many things with this family, like you were saying, but yeah. then this one they kind of just don't follow through with any it's, of it. It's like kind of a setup movie, but then it's kind of not. Like they yeah. advance a couple of things and I like some of the stuff they did with Lori. And I won't say that it's like a, a, a complete remake of Halloween 2. I think the only resemblance no. is that it takes place in a hospital. Right. Well, that yeah. Lori's in a hospital. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they're obviously trying to say something about mom mentality and like, totally. like it's so like, it's I was like, watching, I was like, is this Monsters Are Due on Maple Street? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's like a little bit more, because the first movie is like all about grief and it's a little bit more subtle or about is, that. Or as Jamie Lee Curtis says, trauma trauma mm -hmm. yes and and it's 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 a it's a lot more subtle in that yeah. one but with this one it's just like ah oh man I, I think it's in your face i think it's a little in your face but it also happens way too fast totally yeah. like let it mm. sit for a little bit yeah. or if like and that's the that's the i think is the the problem with having a movie that's 105 minutes yeah is like you have to get everything get through everything kind of quick if you're yeah. gonna have five storylines happening at the same time oh, it doesn't yeah. make sense for them to just be like all right let's go after michael yeah like it, 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 well, the, the, the weird part when i sorry the beginning when he gives a speech at the open mic oh, night yeah. at karaoke i was like what I, the yeah, fuck yeah. is that i think the speech is weird mm -hmm. and on top of that i think it's is this a spoiler? I don't Let's know. get into spoilers. Sure, Let's spoil. <laughs> put a candle spoilers. right here. I feel like it's so hard Full to talk spoilers. about some of this stuff. This Can you means see that? Well, while the candle's here, there's a, we're spoiling. Spoilers, okay, so if you have not seen okay. Halloween Kills, um, tune out right now. Um, audio only listeners, um, we're going to spoil Halloween Kills. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 So uh, hopefully it. everyone's seen it. It's, 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 currently, right now. it's currently available on Peacock. Um, go and check it. I do... Especially if you're a huge Halloween fan. I think Halloween fans are going to enjoy it. Well. I, thought, I thought it was so hilarious. Someone tweeted, oh, man, I signed up, ready to watch Halloween Kills, and then I realized it's not on Paramount+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, oops. It's not there. It's not there. So I am impressed by the box office, though. Yeah. Yo, How much did it make? This is 50 great. Million plus. 50 million plus. 50 million dollars. We think you got Jess right. Clinton. Now we're going to have to pull that sound back down. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, from the full Patreon on, section. Full on spoilers from here on out until the candle is gone if you're watching us right yeah. now. Halloween kills. Um, yes. Okay, so... What did we? Would you well, well, I was where, saying where, where the open mic speech yeah, where yes. he's like, like everyone's having a good time. He's like, oh, sorry, this is my buddy signed me up for this shit. Yeah. By the way, Michael fucking murdered yeah. everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I honestly like, I didn't know what to expect from that opening speech mm -hmm. by Tommy Doyle, and the way Lonnie sets it up, you think it's going to be some like fun, like karaoke thing or whatever. Yeah, so and then he starts talking about the murders from forty years ago, and I'm like. Why the fuck did we just go? Well, this it, it took a, it took a turn for the I worst. was expecting because it's David Gordon Green directing. I was like, I was the guy who dressed up as the nurse. He was like, oh, fuck, this was a buzz kill. Yeah. Like, I was having some fun. Yeah, yeah but there's like no jokes in the movie. Yeah. It was so serious about it. it. Very, and I was like, it, kind of, it was like very left field. -ish. Yeah. Do and you I think it's also super weird that they're hanging out with Marion. So that's this is also <laughs> she was with Dr. Loomis. So this is kind of my that my, they're all together at the yeah. bar at the yeah, same like, time. Why? <laughs> this is like uh, one of my issues that I kind of have with the 2018 Halloween is that like mentally we're watching this movie with the history of all the characters yeah. and the characters almost kind of treat it like that too. Like Lori had this one night with him. Yeah. Obviously very traumatic. Yeah. But like her as an actor 
like has all this history with it. So she has all that. And I felt H2O like, yeah, all the stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like she played that part with all these roles, like right. in mind. And that's kind of how it feels here. It's yes. like Tommy Doyle was in the first one and in the Halloween six. Yeah. And he was played by fucking Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. <laughs> so it's like, it feels a little bit like that yeah. too. Marion dies in, in H2O. H2O. Yeah. So it's like she has history. She's been in the she, movies before. But they yeah. disregard all that, right? So they're just treating yeah. it like 40 years ago, yeah. these murders happened. And after Halloween 1. Yeah. And then now, well, they even continued it. What, what did you guys think about like going like later on that night in 1978? I liked I liked the flashback. Liked yeah. The yeah. flashback was really cool. I was really fucking impressed with how great that guy looked as Dr. Loomis. And it's not CG. It's That's not, not CG? It's, makeup, it's yeah. fucking makeup. Whoa, I thought could, that was like... like Implanting him from like no, original no. I, I, footage Nels, or something. Chris shit. Nelson, who does all the makeup for that movie, he just posted today. Yeah, he posted all the makeup that they did for that actor. It's not even an actor. He is part of like the construction crew. <laughs> he just looked like him. <laughs> yeah, they because so I'll I, take that. So yeah, I'll take that. He over looked deep just fake. like him. Yeah, yeah. I, I read that for the last movie for the 2018 movie, the opening was supposed to be the a scene, flashback. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I heard it was that supposed too. to be a flashback, yeah. and they cast him, and they cast another guy on the crew to play Young Hawkins, mm -hmm. and then they scrapped that whole thing, and they brought it back for this movie. Mm -hmm. So they brought back that same guy to play Loomis. And, you know, in the trailer, I'm sure you saw the trailer after, there was like that shot of Loomis in the doorway. And I was like, they're not going to really show him that much on the movie, <laughs> I'm sure. He's fucking talking Dude, and they yeah. show him. And I was like, holy shit, this looks amazing. Yeah, the, the shot, my favorite shot, I think, in the whole movie is Michael standing in the yard yeah. with all the cops pointing the gun yeah. and then Loomis in the background right before the title hits. Yeah. Oh, so, so cool. Good. Fan like, service. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. It's because I'm like, it's, it's a complete man, replication of the shot of young Michael Myers. Yeah. In the yeah. Even they, they even like try to replicate the film look of it yeah. too. But like, totally. it looks like. But a yeah. Bit. Like that's what lighting. I like. It's I not that like, was very impressive because yeah. the rest of it looks like so clean and digital. Yeah. Like yes. it's, it looks nice. Like I, to be I in asked the 70s Gordon again. Green about that, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know, what was the challenges of that? And he was like, well, you know, it was like trying to figure out the lenses and the lighting and all that stuff. We talked to Dean Cundy about it, and that's a nice save. You know, we talked about Dean Cundy. He did Jack and Jill. Did he? Yeah. Really? Yeah, he does. Oh, shit, I didn't know. <laughs> what is that? Well, like, Dean what Cundy did, did like everything John Carpenter. Yeah, he was the, the cinematographer. Thing, oh, cinematographer. Yeah. First, two, first two Holly movies. Uh, uh, Big Jurassic Trouble Park. China, Jurassic Park, yeah. yeah. And Jack and Jill. But yeah, this this Jill. this kind of freeze frame makes more sense as opposed mm. to the original when they're just like standing around young Michael and they're just like waiting for the yeah. camera yeah. to pull out. <laughs> yeah. But this one, they're actually like holding him yeah. like there. Even like the, sense. yeah, it is fan like the original mask. Like yeah. his mask. Yeah. The, the guy who played, I think that guy played who played Michael in the seventies is, was different than, um, Jade, Jai Courtney, yes. who fucking played James the, Jude Courtney. Jade, yeah, James <laughs> yeah. Jude Jai Courtney. Uh, his name was Aaron Armstrong. I think, mm, okay. I think he was like another stunt guy in the his movie. fucking movie. By the way, shout out to Jim Cummings who she plays one of, he plays the, uh, uh um, Oh, not uh, Hawkins. What's the other guy's name? Frank, uh, Frank something. No, Frank is Hawkins. Frank Hawkins. No, no, no. Frank is, um, uh, pack, uh, Bill Paxton, Bill, Will Will no, pa Will, Will, Pat Will, Will, Will Patton. Will Patton. Will Patton. That's that's Frank. Yeah, Hawkins. and then Jim Cummings is his partner. Yeah, the one yeah, that gets yeah, killed yeah. in the beginning. Yeah, I don't know yeah. who he, he plays just a rent, but he's yeah. a he's a really cool director and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did you guys like the angle of like having the kids grown up, like like go, like seeing the story from their perspective, like the Anthony Michael Hall character and the? Uh, oh, I like the idea of. Yeah, it. I like yeah. the idea of it too. I. I I feel like, because I know for years they were trying to make a Halloween movie after Rob Zombies, and mm -hmm. they kept tossing around ideas like, maybe we'll do something with Tommy and Lindsay and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really cool idea to revisit those characters. Yeah. Even though they're in one movie and their roles are very supporting, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just find it interesting to see how all of these characters kind of dealt with this one night of, of murder. And, yeah, and, and they all yeah. went through it. Like, it wasn't just Lori. It was like the exactly, whole town. Yeah. Exactly. So when they announced that they're going to bring in Anthony Michael Hall to play... Tommy Doyle and bring back Kyle Richards to play Lindsay. I was like, this is going to be so fucking cool. Mm -hmm. See all these characters Kyle, come back. Kyle Richards played um, her in the original. She played her in the original yeah. film. That's her. That's the little. Was girl. Anthony Michael Hall in any no. of them? No. He was just like brought in. Yeah, the original actor is Brian Andrews, mm -hmm. and there's like, there's been like this weird like controversy on Reddit about like why they didn't bring him in, mm -hmm. but whatever. Um, Anthony Michael Hall was was fine. I think it was fine. You know, I think who the standout was, mm. um, uh, Lonnie. The, the Robert, actor, Longstreet? Robert Dude, Longstreet, Robert Longstreet, Robert Longstreet, he's so Hill Street. fucking awesome. Hill House, Hill House, Hill House. Yeah, yeah. And, and he was and a Midnight Mass, Midnight Mass. He's a Flanagan and, regular. Yeah, Flanagan regular. And sorry to bother you, 
Yes. Oh, is yeah, he really? He is this in Saturday Night Live. Marketing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit, I didn't even he's realize. a fucking I great actor. He's Robert Longstreet is so fucking I think awesome. He should yeah. have been Tommy. I think he was so, so he's fucking yeah. good. good. Yeah, yeah. Like even even when like he brings him, he brings um um Allison and his son to the house. To the Myers like, house. Oh, I brought my son to the belly of the beast. Yeah. Like the way he's still, like delivering shit, or the he's way he's just great when they're walking through the park and he's like reacting to like the trauma of seeing these people. I'm like. This guy is so fucking good. I almost wanted Kyle Richards to. I thought she was one of the better ones too. Yeah. She didn't do too much. No, and I was great. like, because I know she's like in like uh, Beverly Hills Housewives, Housewives and yeah. stuff. Oh, so, she's not like an actress, like she, quote unquote. Still, n- no, acting. not really. I don't think she's acting that much. But yeah, she's mostly in like TV those, stuff. Yeah, mostly reality TV. But mm. like, I thought her like she looked terrified yeah. like during her Getting, scenes. Yeah. I thought she was no. Really, really I good. totally agree. I think her and Robert Longstreet were probably like the standouts for me. I don't know. Movie. Like, I I like. Uh, C. Thomas Howe? Who was it? Anthony Michael Howe? Anthony Michael Hall. Anthony Michael, Hi, Anthony Hall. Michael Hall. There You'll you go. You'll figure it out. Michael I'm C. Hall? Michael C. Hall. His brother. That would have been dope. They're brothers. I didn't. <laughs> I love... I actually really like Anthony Michael Hall. He was so great in vac- in uh, Vacation. National Lampoon's Vacation. He was Rusty Griswold. Oh, yeah. Oh, the original, right. not, yeah, the original not the original. Not the Ed one. Helms okay, one. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Fuck I, that movie. I, I can't take movie. him seriously now because I saw him in an episode of Community and he was oh, very funny. Oh, really? Very okay. silly. He was Mike Engel in The Dark Knight. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. That's right. Wow. Yeah, no, he's not, I thought he's, he was. I thought like for what he was given. Yeah, I thought he was great in the movie. How do you feel since we're in spoilers? How do you feel yeah. that they killed him off? I'm a little bummed about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I. They really talked about how they wanted to like take it up to you know level 100, and everybody gets murdered. And I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, that's fine, mm. but like brackets in the movie for five minutes, and he gets murdered. Yeah. Tommy Doyle is such feels like such an important part of that story. Mm-hmm. You murder him. Mm-hmm. Karen gets killed at the end of the movie. Yes. You know, and I'm just like. That one was the weirdest one because it almost felt like, is this really happening? Yeah. Is she like, imagining? Are we dreaming? Like, yeah. What's going on it was here? A very oh, you thought it was like Laurie's dream? I don't know. Or something. It, it felt because because the thing that they answer in this movie is that, yes, Michael is a supernatural force. Yeah. And which is like like something that we've known but like i mean he just, if you get shot five times off a fucking balcony and you live to tell the tale then like of course, yeah, we of course. Know that yeah. so he's not so he's not human he is supernatural yeah he, yeah. he has the uh, he's uh, an embodiment of evil yes. evil yeah pure evil, evil. evil. I, his, the blackest eyes, his voice the his eyes. voice wasn't like not quite there i was yeah. just like that i always do you know who uh do you know we watched a movie mike and jay do you know those guys Mm-mm. they're they're fantastic youtubers they they love halloween yeah. and um jay uh, they, they always do these sketches yeah. and he plays loomis really and he's just like phenomenal <laughs> I, I instantly thought of him yeah he's like michael <laughs> he just he says the he says the line so I shot him five times. and like the, i think the voice was fine and he yeah. obviously like looked like him and it was a different voice than the actor it oh, was yes, a, it was yeah, an actor yeah. Voice was, I think oh. it was it the same actor that Might have voiced him in one? the first Maybe. one? Maybe. Been, I don't yeah. know. Um, I do yeah. know that Bob Odenkirk had like a, a photo yeah. uh, so cameo they're, in the they're, film. Yeah, when they're on the TV and they're showing like PJ Souls as Linda. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. talking about like characters that were murdered in the very first movie. And then it cuts to Bob, mm-hmm. who's the boyfriend of Linda, but yeah. it's Bob Odenkirk's photo. Yeah. He's young. Oh, wow. Because yeah. like uh, I, there was some like complication to get his likeness for the film or something like I that. I have no clue why. And then the, the, I don't know how Bob Odenkirk got into the, but they were Wasn't just Bob like... Bob Odenkirk in a da- David Doran Green movie? Maybe. Maybe. Well, Could have been. Probably. That, that, make, probably that would make some sense. Some kind yeah. of cameo or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Like, that's just The whole movie is just a huge mixed bag. Like, I like a yeah. lot of Michael's stuff, but just like, the character decisions, <laughs> like, it, it, it feels like... it honestly feels like a Friday the 13th like middle yeah. sequel that's what uh, he felt like Jason in this movie yeah which I'm cool with that like yeah. like I, I I like that they dialed back the humor right um yeah. but oh the humor the just, most awkward thing in the last movie was when Toby Huss is like I got peanut butter in my penis I kind of like the, what he, he was, likes that scene we, me and Cody were talking about he that, that during scene. our commentary where and I was <laughs> I, I so said awkward. it's so awkward but it's like when Cody and I went to a press screening for that, yeah. we, me and him were the only two laughing in the theater <laughs> at that. We were just because, oh, I got peanut, peanut butter, butter on my penis. penis. <laughs> I was the one who yeah. was like, what? Okay. You no, know, but like they they dial the humor back in this yeah. movie, but I was laughing at stuff that I probably should. Yeah, have what did you guys laughing. laugh at? I have uh, some. Every instances. time they said evil dies tonight, <laughs> evil dies tonight. They said it like a few. Evil times. dies tonight. I have questions about that script. Oh, because. I every time someone said that, and then you have like that random Haddonfield patron number seventy four. Yeah, evil dies tonight. Yeah. I'm like, 
Why are we yeah. reciting this? It's like it's just such a weird. Yeah. It's so like, awkward. It's on the poster, so let's yeah. Let's it's keep uh, saying so it. awkward. Yeah. It's that, and then it's also. I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like they keep beating us over the head with like the traumatic events of forty years ago. They, I'm like, we know, we've they, seen yes, the movie, we know the whole thing. lot. They're, they they do a lot of like the 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 first initial flashback in the opening of the movie. I think is fine, but they yeah. they do a lot of things in just movies where they flash back. To, to, to scenes that had happened like just yeah. like five or ten minutes ago yeah. just to like help you like hey you yeah. remember like hey, carry like, you along you like, happened? Yeah. Well, like we're smarter, like we're smarter than, than this yeah. like we, we we know and they're also like answering a lot of questions yeah or like that people would have like yeah like did he know to come to you Lori and and then someone answered like no the, the doctor just the doctor brought him took him there and I'm yeah. like okay that, that, that was something that I'm glad that they finally addressed I think they yeah. just addressed way too late because they had that scene where both Allison and Karen are being interviewed yeah. And they're saying the two opposite things. Karen is saying, oh, no, he's coming for her. Allison's like, no, it was the doctor. doctor it was like, yeah. how come you guys didn't fucking talk about this? <laughs> right. And, and solve so many things yeah. earlier. Because then, because Lori doesn't find out. Because that's the one aspect, I think, of, about these movies that I really enjoy is that Lori thinks that Michael's coming for her. Right. But no, it doesn't fucking movie, matter. Like, no, 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 no. no. It, Wait, does none she of that. know that? Or, or she, she, fi she, she, still... finds, she finds that out. Okay. Yeah. Like Hawkins, uh, not Hawkins, um... Will Patton's the, character tells her. It's Hawkins. Was it Hawkins that yeah. tells her? Mm. It was either Hawkins or the mayor. Well, Hawkins is next to her in the bed, right? No, yeah. Hawkins is... Uh, the, or no. Oh, I'm thinking of Brackett. I'm sorry. You keep you kept saying Hawkins. All these fucking sheriffs, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same. I, I was thinking of uh, Brackett sure, the whole Brackett. time. Yeah, yeah, he was just mm. like, oh, we're all entitled to one good scare. Yeah. You remember when I said that in the original? Four years ago? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Um, God I will bless say, Charles though... Cyphers. Um, I saw someone point this out in like a comment section um, that uh, Jim Cummings character in the flashback gets killed by a rope because in the original Halloween, Michael steals a knife, a mask and a rope. Oh, cool. I was like, oh, nice okay. It's a tiny little detail. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Little sure. things that, that really makes cool. it better. That makes yeah, yeah. me like the movie. No. Um, but Doesn't he use the rope on somebody in the I was the trying movie? to think that. Like he someone hanging. somebody. No. no yeah, because Bob is Bob is hanging when he when uh, Lori finds him. He's like swinging in the doorway or Maybe something. Maybe that's just him on a thing. I, yeah. I don't know. No, Whatever. Right. They, I mean, the, the whole idea of... I, I, I like the idea of Haddonfield like crumbling within itself. Yeah. But then again, it's also that like what idea... What moron lives there 40 years later? I right? Know, in the right? house. Yeah. yeah. Big what? John. Little John. Little John. Favorite aspect of the whole movie, Michael McDonald. So, f not Michael McDonald. Isn't that one of the actors? It's um something. Michael McDonald is uh he's a singer, and that's the actor. Oh, name. I'm thinking of Michael McDowell. Oh no, Malcolm, Malcolm McDowell. McDowell. Malcolm McDowell. Loomis from the Rob Zombie yeah. movies. No, my, is Michael, it Michael McDonald, McDonald from Mad TV. Yeah, Stuart. Stuart? From, yeah, Stuart. it's Michael McDonald. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I, those two were my favorite. Yeah. The, they the whole they movie. were great. My, I feel like my biggest issue is I feel like they were introduced so late into the movie. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, you're gonna go fucking. You have a blood stain hand on your wall, and your response to that is to lock yourself in with a charcuterie knife. Yeah, <laughs> you dumb fuck. Have you had charcuterie boards before? Though? I have a charcuterie board with my initials on it. That's uh, pretty good. God damn, that's white. Yeah, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. gave it to me. Okay. Oh. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like I, yeah, I don't know. It's such a like hit and miss movie for me because there's things like that that I really enjoy. Yeah, and then there's elements about it that I'm like, the of, evil dies tonight. Shit is just like too much. Constantly referring to 40 years ago is like too much. We mm -hmm. already did it in the last movie. I don't know why we need to do it again. Yeah, because of fan service. Yeah, and and, and I, I don't know. It's just like it's it ends in a weird place. Karen's dead, and I don't know why. And then they talked about how Halloween ends. It's going to like jump forward into present time. Oh, gonna, oh shit, really? It's going to take that. place in 2022. Oh, not even that same night. No, and it's going to take place like <laughs> after the pandemic. And I'm like... Oh, How the no. fuck are we bringing the pandemic into Halloween? We're introducing oh, no. that shit. Like, what? What does mm. that have anything to do? Yeah. Like, why does that? Yeah, because I figured it would all take place in the same night. She's gonna go because I I heard I did hear that uh, there was an alternate ending that's gonna be like on the that's Blue on the Blu-ray, Blu yeah. Uh, where um, Lori calls uh, Karen. She obviously doesn't answer because she's dead. And then Michael answers the phone. And you just hear the breathing over the phone, like, Hello? which like is is like cool in concept, but also it's like. There's no correlation between Michael and Laurie other than the fact that like he tried yeah, killing spoilers, her randomly. Lori and Michael never meet in this movie. No, yeah, they don't. Yeah. No, I'm fine with that. I'm I think fine that, with that too. I think that's a bold choice, but you yeah. need to have Laurie do something interesting. Yeah, I I legit thought maybe it, it maybe this because it's the David Gordon Green movie or just like that's how I interpreted the scene. But when she like stabs herself with a syringe, yeah, I thought she like 
was gonna like pass out. She's like, "Oh, that's the wrong one." <laughs> like the cheap like, joke. There was just, like some kind of joke there. Yeah. But I also think that the the other like running plot with the escaped inmate was so fucking <laughs> A little weak. silly. Yeah. And all they're the following only, him. Yeah. Like yeah. the only purpose it served was to like build out the mob mentality yeah. and like what dangers that brings. Because they're they're stuck at the hospital for yeah. the bulk of the movie. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? But man. then but then we did get uh, Slows the movie we down. did get Jamie Lee Curtis shouting out, You fucking shit Yeah, which that like was which was which was fun. But yeah. I'm just like, man, yeah. this whole plot with this like inmate who escapes, I'm like for if if people knew about Michael Myers for forty years, they would know what he looks. You like. know what he looks like yeah. exactly, yeah. or how he moves, how he exactly. Yeah, like, looks, come on, yeah. this motherfucker. Yeah. Didn't look yeah. like like, like <laughs> I said, like I I like the idea in concept of of yeah. Haddonfield turning on itself and, I love and, and concept, going crazy, yeah. but yeah, it almost happens way too fast and like and like too brutally. Like when they're yeah. like breaking down the doors like one guy like fucking headbutts the fucking door like what the fuck They're like zombies like it's dawn crazy. of the dead yeah. style yeah. shit and it's like it's just there's a murderer loose yeah, it's, it's not like, there's not a plague like around it's here. like you can be nihilistic to 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 tell a good story that's like all of john carpenter's yeah. work but not yeah. nihilistic just to be nihilistic you yeah. know yeah i think i think for me what i think would have worked better is they assemble all these people or tommy assembles all these people but then they end up going off on their own little quest mm -hmm. to find Michael they split Myers. Up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I to was, me, that felt so just like, does that kind of go against what you're trying to do? Here? Yeah, <laughs> that was my only like anticipated because like whenever I go into a movie, I'm just like, I'm gonna go in. It's gonna be a Halloween movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and this compared to like the rest of the movies, it's not like it's not like the worst thing on the planet. It's not terrible. Oh, no. no, like yeah. there are definitely war it's the, the Halloween franchise is just like kind of Yeah, it's very bang. silly. Yeah. It's kind of like I mean like I, I know that we've been spending the last like few minutes talking about things that we don't like, but for like a Halloween movie, it's pretty damn good. It's decent. Oh yeah. You know? No, yeah. I mean if you look at like four, five, six, and yeah. all that, you're like, this is actually a pretty good movie. I mean, I'll I'll watch this over Rob Zombie's remakes like any oh, day. Yeah. Any same. day. Mm. Um sorry, Rob. But like, yeah, because the, the kills alone are like like, cause like, that's, I think that's where like most of the humor comes from because, mm. um, he's just a brutal murderer yeah. and he kills people even like accident, for sport. like for sport. Like even when the girl is shooting the, the desert Eagle and yeah. it hits the door, it hits and it shoots, she shoots herself yeah. in the face. It's cracking up. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. Yeah. It's supposed to be funny. Yeah. I hope so. I, I don't know. <laughs> I hope it I was. I actually don't know. Because I laughed. Yeah, like, crazy. I, I laughed really, really they hard. They laughed at, at how like bad of a shot everyone is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or they would hold shot. a gun right to oh. him and then it would be out of ammo. Um or they would they would be like three feet away from him. Yeah. In in arm's reach. Oh, oh my god. In the beginning of the movie, when when uh Jim Cummings character is like murdered, oh yeah, like, he goes like, down the stairs and Hawkins is shooting, I'm like you're literally right on you're top right. of it. You're, you're <laughs> a you fucking miss you're, him. You're a police officer. Yeah, I'm like, you shot the wall. Yes. You shot the fucking staircase. Yes. You shot the handrail. You shot everything but the motherfucker who's walking. I thought there was a funny moment, too, when his friend was getting choked out by Michael Myers, mm -hmm. and then he... <laughs> He shoots him in the neck. And then there's a look that he gives him. He's like, you shot me. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Like shit like yeah. that was just really silly. And then yeah. I, I, I know it wasn't intentional, but just for me it was really funny when the kid was on the ground and then in the very I think in the very beginning and then Were they playing with him the about the razors? Uh no 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 um, uh, when Lonnie's on the floor right before Michael walks up to him. Yeah he's curled up. And yeah. then and then they're like, What did you see? And he almost looks into the camera and he's like, The boogeyman. The boogeyman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the boogeyman. There's another shot like that when all the cops are are pointing their guns. There's like it's Michael fucking Myers. I, or something like, I like why'd you punch it. in like it's that? So irritating to me. Like, oh my god. Someone said it's Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah it's, um, it's Michael Myers. It's Michael Myers. Yeah, because they cut we to fucking know. they cut to multiple people like it's him. We it's know. him. It's him. It's him. We're in this movie with you. This isn't the first time we're watching yeah, a Halloween yeah. movie. It's uh, it's very silly. Yeah. Um, well, sorry. One more silly yeah, part where the um, again with that that scene with the kids in the beginning when the when the, the it's a flashback and the cop yeah. goes up to the kids and he's like, "Be careful! There's a killer on the loose." All right. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just <laughs> drives he off. He murdered five people. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Make it home oh, safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, I, I don't know. I, and I there's a part of me that wonders: is it how, does it have to do with their Limited budget, limited time to deliver the movie, but you had a year yeah, had where a year you could have kind like, of like worked on. I'm most, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'd be more fascinated to see like a full documentary on how the, the film industry yeah. handled COVID, uh, on yeah. whether to like movies were saved because like right. 
I think about Godzilla versus Kong, and if that movie came out originally, would it have been as dope as it was? Yeah, because I know they cut a lot of shit out of the oh, movie. Oh, they did. I'm pretty that, that sure that movie's they pretty did. trimmed down, and yeah. it knows yeah, what it's it is. Like an hour and forty yeah. minutes. Who knows really how long short. it originally uh, was? There's no know? reason for that movie to be three, no, uh, two no, and a half. No, no, no. So it's yeah. like I, I, so that's, I, good. I'd be, that's good. I'd be very fascinated to see how like that kind of changed their perspective yeah. on things. Mm. Um, so uh, one of the one of the red letter media guys pointed out on Twitter. He tweeted out saying like, "Why would Marion?" Is it Marion Chambers? Yeah. yeah. Why would Marion Chambers say this is for Loomis? She was, and he was like, she was some random nurse that was with Loomis Again, the night like that happened. Again, it's like that context of like H2O. Exactly. Where they set yeah. up like, Marion was Dr. Loomis's nurse until he died. Yeah. And you're like, great. But that was like, it was a it was isolated incident. Yeah. You know? So it's like it, half like canon, half yeah, in the bag exactly. of canon, but half not. They do exactly. stuff in this. They they show clips from Halloween 2 in this they film. Do. Which oh, is really? actually, I thought that was actually pretty, I mean, they're, I know they're ignoring it. Yeah. But... It was kind of like uh, they do the same thing in Glass where they show deleted scenes yeah. from Unbreakable and yeah. they kind of like retroactively bring it back. They retcon it? They, not retcon it, but they kind of, uh, they just like use stuff as like, oh, this is something that Mix we had. Because they mm. needed something for Bracket to yeah. like sh show My a flashback. My daughter was like, murdered four yeah. years ago mm. by the boogeyman. And, and I'm, I'm like, still here in hand. Man, I fucking know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you know. so Michael has been locked up in an insane asylum. For 40 years. In yeah. Haddonfield. So you would. Well, well it's, it's in Smith's know. Grove, which is in Warren County, mm -hmm. which includes Haddonfield. So I don't, I don't. I don't so know. It's, he's like down the street and now like people are afraid of him. And like now that he's out, and then Lori had the opportunity to kill him mm -hmm. in her basement. Yeah. And then she's like, no, let it burn. Let yeah. it burn. I want my metaphor of me burning yeah. my past <laughs> to play out. But then we wouldn't have gotten the dope. The the first like 30 minutes of the movie, I was like, okay, this is pretty solid. It's, yeah. it's once they get to the hospital, it kind of just like the mob mm, slows so down. It very, it slows down quite yeah, I was a little bored. A little oh, bored wow. in some spots. Yeah. Just like, come on, what are we doing? I, on. I think also if the, if the movie seems to really want to focus on a character like Allison, the granddaughter. Mm -hmm. She's not even in the movie that much. Yeah, really. She doesn't have they like the best lines. No, either. she's like at the hospital with Karen. Mm -hmm. She tells them what happens at the house. And then she goes off with Lonnie and, and Cameron. Is that his name? Cameron Elam? The boyfriend? The yeah, boyfriend. the boyfriend. I think so. Um, then they, Glad then, that know. fucker got it. Well, they, the movie started <laughs> off with that guy. We were doing the commentary for 2018. Yeah. We're like, this is the worst fucking character. Most annoying. He Right yeah. when the girlfriend leaves, he cheats on her. And like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then you don't see him again. But then like the movie starts off with that guy. Yeah. Like, well, I don't want to fucking see right this guy. I, I, and I was right. I Because I, I said in that commentary that Will Patton was going to show up. Cause, like, yeah, he would be. Yeah. Because... Uh, I don't know if uh, did Cody. Ever, I don't know if Cody ever because we had a highlight. Cody had a highlight video. I ended up yeah. watching it before he because uh, we it got blocked on YouTube. Yeah. Um. Uh, I had said in the commentary, I was like, "Oh yeah, I think I think Will Patton's coming back because this is like after he got stabbed." Yeah. And then the doctor runs him over, and we're like, "I don't think he's <laughs> no, coming maybe, back, yeah. <laughs> but he does. But he's fucking back. Yeah. He's fucking back in the this movie. Watch, he's gonna walk in the next movie. You're like, you motherfuckers. Yeah. I know what you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so man, I'm know. I'm still curious to see where they're gonna go. I think they're obviously gonna. Because it's like they they proved that um, Michael Myers is just pure evil. So it's like, mm. how do you how do you kill pure evil? And yeah. I think they're just gonna do some kind of allegory where um, Laurie is the antithesis of that pure evil. Because in, yeah. in the original Halloween, she's, she's Batman the, is Joker. Yeah, exactly. She's, she's like the, the good. she's the pure e pure, pure good. He's the pure evil. I think they're gonna kill each other and then end it. <laughs> or she he fucking kills her and it just keeps going. They're just gonna keep more making but movies. I, I honestly would not be surprised if they tried to do the ending of H two O again, but yeah. slightly different. Oh. Well, yeah, the, have you, have you heard Jamie awesome. Lee Curtis talk about that? I yeah, she there was a yeah there was an interview someone shared it on our Discord recently yeah. where she talks about both H two O and Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah, and um the original producer Akkad um, Mustafa Akkad, Mustafa yeah. he passed away right I think yeah, it's like his son now yeah it's his son Malik Akkad now yeah. um yeah he he had said like um because her whole point coming to H two O was that it was oh, twenty years him. later yeah. like yeah let's fucking do this and let's end. kill him yeah and then he the producer said we can't kill Michael Myers. Yeah, After he literally she put a like contract in the clause that said you cannot kill Michael Myers. Yeah. And she was like, well, what the fuck? Yeah. She and then it was Kevin Williamson on. who was yeah. like, well, what if yeah. we do this? So they, that's how they retconned it in Resurrection? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So she was like, so, but then but then Jamie Lee Curtis was like, okay, fine. fucking if, kill me then. Then if I have to do this, you put me in an insane asylum and you kill me in the first yeah. 10 minutes of the movie. Yeah. And that's so you, happen. you think that's what's going to happen in Halloween and she's going to die? I think she's going to die, yeah. obviously. I like, think they're going to kill each other. Yeah. yeah. that's mm -hmm. that Because now I think with that, then there's going to be like a copycat killer or whatever or some shit later. I, I, who knows, man. I think that after Halloween ends, they should not make Michael Myers movies 
for like 10 plus years. Yeah, let it rest. And I would do an anthology series like they tried to like do with Season with, of the with Witch. Season of the Witch? Mm. I would that. I would get people like Mike Flanagan, Julia Docrano, mm-hmm. um, I don't know, just all these like very pro- prolific horror filmmakers mm-hmm. oh. to do one horror movie a year yeah. and just make it be like set in the Halloween universe, yeah. whether it's copycats mm. or brand new, you know, killers that are on the loose or whatever they want to do. TV it, series. Yeah. Okay. Embrace different genres. Yeah. I, I, I think that's the route to go. I think if you just are like... We're going to announce we're going to do a remake of Halloween again. I'd be like, fuck off. We, we've been, we've do been doing this for so yeah. long. Yeah. Like, Well, then that, like when they took off, again, spoilers, they took off Michael's mask and you yeah. see it's just like an old guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like balding. And I'm like, I didn't mind that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't mind that don't mind stuff. That Cause like, yeah. it's, it's not, you're not getting like a clear look at him. Look but at he's, him. He's still aging. So yeah, if, yeah, a, exactly. if a movie happens 10 years later, yeah. he's going to be in his 80s. If, if, mm. if they in the future do a, Reboot, which I'm sure they will, yeah. of Halloween. I would either do it as a TV series, mm-hmm. or I would do it as a film series. But I would go back and I would, I would almost do something that's Zodiac esque. Oh, mm. I like. And that. I would really make the focus of that series be Doctor Loomis. And I'd mm. get like, I don't know, depends on you know how long it takes for them to do it. But I would get like a Gary Oldman, mm-hmm. Idris Elba, or like a Jeffrey Wright type of actor, yeah. and really whoa, whoa, it, whoa, what? What? Yeah, I oh, <laughs> and I would, I would actually like really, I would make Michael's kills really methodical, mm. and and he'll just be the same guy, the yeah. same force of evil, and there's no like mystery between like who he is, yeah. But it's more about Loomis trying to find him, yeah. That I think I, could be it, interesting. That was the thing about the Thorn trilogy that I liked is yeah. that it's 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 the focus was Loomis the whole yeah. time in trying to just handle his shit. Yeah, what trilogy is that? Uh, it's four, four five, five, and six. six. Oh, yeah. okay. Because because Laurie Strode's daughter. Yeah. Oh. Because Laurie's died not just once; she's died twice. She yeah. died <laughs> off camera in in, in four. Following four, yeah. Oh, she had a daughter. Um, and then yeah, she's she then adopted. Di- yeah. Adop- yeah, and then adopted into a new family, and she had died off screen. Yeah. And then in H H two O was like the new she time resur- resurrection. She dies. Well, yeah, and then she dies in resurrection. Yeah. So and I H2O, love H2O. She's she's dead. She yeah. like fakes her death. Oh, oh dude, yeah. my my H2O. my trilogy is Halloween one, two, H2O. and H two O. Even yeah. making them brother and sister is silly. It, it, I think it is, but yeah. So H two O that's canon. It is that yeah. they're brother mm-hmm. or sister. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. When I was when we were doing the shape. By the way, we did a fan film Halloween. The shape, go check it out. By the way, Ooh. um, I that was like my idea would be, um, Halloween one, two, and H two O. Those three were the were the trilogy. I remember writing out like this whole like outline detail that I sent to Grace, and I was like, "Here's the world that you live in." And I made um, uh, Lindsay. She was the mayor in town, and like no one celebrates Halloween anymore. Yeah. Like mm. very few people celebrate Halloween because I like that aspect. I, I like that they fucking killed him. Yeah, and then yeah. just like. You know, Somewhere. so it's a horror movie. He comes back. Uh, yeah. You know, course, so it's of like course. Jason always, style. Always, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, who who knows where they're gonna go with it? Um, I I, I like the fact that they filmed it back to back. Um, so it's already well, they shot. Didn't. They didn't film. No, it. they start shooting in January. What the fuck? They were, yeah. they were supposed to. But and then COVID happened. Uh, I read that that the schedule was too hectic. Or they, they they were supposed to, and then they decided that they just wanted to focus on Halloween Kills. God and, damn! And they they decided that giving them more time to kind of like work on the story and the script was mm. better for the movie. Okay. Well, so, that's, that's yeah, January is when they start shooting it. Whoa. Holy it starts, shit. I, and and it comes out next year. Yeah. That's They're going to start in January bonkers. and then finish it by October. October? Yeah. Wow. Well, we'll see. So we'll see. Well, hey, crazy. yeah, I'm sure it's a smaller budget too. Jamie Lee Curtis. I watched an interview with her with like on like the verge. She said that she took scale for the yes. first film. But I'm sure that her that she gets back end. Oh yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause her point, especially because they're executive producers. She's a producer. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Even John Carpenter didn't make shit off the first movie too. No. The original, the original one. Yeah. I, I I wonder what that's like to like create. I mean, he didn't he didn't technically. I mean, he created Halloween for what it is mm-hmm. for sure. But eventually, like kind of like parting ways with that yeah. and letting Trankus International just like run with it. I'm like, what is that like? I've been. Do I've you been get money. Wa- like it's still he still is like uh, characters he based so. on he gets a check for every Halloween movie. Okay. Yeah. Which is why he's like, make as many as you fucking yeah, want. No, okay. yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. He, they um I, I've been wanting them to because they um for both Halloween no, um for both Friday the thirteenth and Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. they have these wonderful six and a half hour like documentaries on yeah. those films that, mm. that that go over 
everything in the series. Yeah. I've been wanting them to do one for Halloween because yeah. I think it's another fascinating thing. They just did a um I think I think Kat in our Discord uh, brought this attention to me. They made um, the the Netflix show, the, the movies, movies that, that made, made us. us. Yeah, I watched they, it. They, they did an episode on Halloween, which, oh, wow. was, which was pretty fascinating, and they cover some of that stuff. Yeah, and he, I think they paid um, John Carpenter like ten grand for the first Halloween it, film or something yeah, like that. I, it was I, like something small. Yeah, something small. And then I remember he was trying to come back for H two O, and he wanted like ten million. Yeah, he wanted a like, lot. We're good. No, we'll go yeah. somewhere else. But it's like you fucking moron. Yeah, like Steve Miner. I think have yeah. these movies. I mean, they've been successful-ish, but they've mm-hmm. never been like gangbusters. Uh, Halloween 2018 is definitely the most successful yeah. one. Yeah. Before that, Rob Zombie's first movie was actually very successful. Whoa! Yeah, it made up to that point, it had made the most money out of any Halloween movie. Yeah, because they're like, I know they're made for like pretty cheap yeah. budgets, yeah. but like they for their budget, they they they're pretty um they're pretty um financially, financially successful. successful. Yeah, yeah. like and they, they're not. Create going two hundred million dollars no, in the box. No, 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 no. I mean the first, the last Halloween movie, twenty eighteen, was made for ten million, and I it must have made it oh, close 100 to million? a hundred million. Probably for sure right? that one. Office. That one was Opening huge. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the return of Jimmy Lee Curtis. And yeah, shit, so. it's a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. most of the budget for the first film was like their their equipment their, their equipment yeah. yeah it was like the steady cam and yeah. the cameras i yeah. think that was it and yeah. it was all unknown actors it was sean's fucking south pasadena where they just use mm-hmm. houses yeah. yeah i go there all the time have you have you gone there no to i the see house? your fucking photos all the time i'm like god damn it i need to you go. Should go over there man it's i it's lived cool. in pasadena for a year yeah. i never went yeah. it's it's really cool they they moved the myers house Okay. Right by the train tracks, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, they moved it because all the houses on that on that side of the street were demolished Ooh. in the late nineties, and uh, it's one of the oldest houses in South Pasadena. It was built in like eighteen ninety six, I think. Whoa. Oh shit! Um, so yeah, there, this guy ended up like going by it, and they were gonna bulldoze it. And he's like, "No, I'll save the house." Yeah, he didn't know that it was the house from the movie until after. How? Whoa! Oh, shit. Yeah, so they okay. moved it, and then the house right behind it, there's an art gallery, and I went there last Saturday, and they had a signing. Oh, and it was uh, Nick Castle was there, James Jude Courtney, oh, Will nice. Sandin who plays young Michael Myers in the first movie, oh. uh, Carmela who plays the the nurse who gets shot, <laughs> who shoots herself. Nice. Mm. And uh, who else was there? Uh, I think that was everyone. So I got like I had the vinyl from the last Halloween movie that oh. I had them all signed. Oh wow. shit, that's yeah. dope. Nick Castle I, was really cool. Was he? Did he do anything in this one? I know he did Nick in the Castle? last one. Yeah. Yeah, he also has a cameo, but I don't know what. I don't oh, know okay. What the cameo I is. know he was heavily involved in the first one. Yeah, just not this he did. One. He did a couple cameos in the last one, but I'm not sure what his cameo was in this one. Okay, yeah. oh, that's still cool though. So I will. Cool. I will say my my favorite thing about the Halloween 2018 was the music. Yeah. Um, music's. I was. I was funny. I was. I was going for my run today, and I was listening to the music today. I was like, oh. Fuck, this is kind of <laughs> this kind of cool running music right now. Yeah. He's just fucking Michael Myers chasing yeah. me right now. Um, music's okay in this one. They they reuse a lot of stuff from the original film. Yeah. Um, there are only a couple standout tracks. Yeah. Um, but still, like getting John Carpenter to do more new music, I think that's because he hasn't directed a movie since like two thousand nine. Nine, I think yeah. the Ward. Yeah. So like all he does is music now, and yeah. I think over With the his past. Kid? It's with this kid. It's same guys, uh, uh, Cody Carpenter, John Carpenter, and Daniel Davies. Davis. Davis, yeah, Davis, yeah something like that. Yeah. Um, it's the three of them um, um, doing the score together. And you been um, to his concert at the Palladium? I almost, I went, I almost went one time, Dude, but I ended up. Go. No, I want to go and see him. I went him. in 2017, and I went in 2018. Yeah, Whoa. it was I, I, great. I love his Lost Themes albums. Yeah. They're, those so are so good. good. Anytime I do any sort of writing, I, I think. I put him on, yeah, and uh, he's been like my favorite composer because yeah. his his stuff is so simple. It's totally. very very simple, um, but it's just it's just so moody. Yeah, it's such a moody kind of score. Totally. Um, and even the opening. Um, we're still talking about spoilers, but um, the opening uh credits. Um, I like the the pumpkins coming yeah. at you. I thought that that shit was pretty cool. The, the opening score with the oh, yeah, <laughs> it kind of reminded me of Scream a little bit a little too. Bit, I thought that was pretty bit, dope. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, music overall didn't stand out to me as much in this one. Yeah, than the, the last, last one, one it, even though the last one has like new renditions of old themes, yeah, mm, it just felt so like different and new. It because it, it's played a little differently. They have the yeah. they have like newer themes in there that I think are really, and then it has that. 
I, I, I learned it was a bow, the um, instrument you use on a violin, but they use it on a guitar when it was like the... Oh, rrr, yeah. Rrr. Yeah, yeah. Like, that shit's fucking cool as fuck, yeah. man. I like that shit. It's so cool. Yeah. So Halloween kills. Um, so you, would you guys watch it again? Oh, yeah. You'll, yeah, you'll I would it, watch it, it again. again. I, started, I started watching it on Peacock again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I actually... <laughs> I started watching it, and then I was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna recut the beginning, and I'm gonna in- connect it to the original movie." So oh, I was in premiere, like, oh yeah, stuff, yeah. And I was like, "What can I do with the music?" So I changed all the music out and everything. Oh, and, oh, I like that. It's like a fun, like, twelve minute little scene. That's a million views right there, bro. Nice. Upload yeah. it. Copyright claims, shit. though. Ah, uh, bastard. <laughs> I will say that. Um, you know that uh, that uh, dead meat YouTuber? Yeah. He's going to have a fucking field day with this I movie. I know. There are a lot of... He kills What's half of Haddonfield in the first know. fucking 10 minutes of the murders movie. everyone. Yeah. No dog is safe. No, the, yeah. No. The dog is... Only yeah. the flashback. Yeah, the but, flashback. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no one is safe in Halloween I like the, the Halloween 3 reference. Uh, the, weren't those the same trick-or-treaters that were like walking in a, in a scene then? Uh, yeah, the, so I kept one. seeing people being like, these are amazing references to Halloween 3. I'm like, I'm like didn't we was, do this in the last I movie? I think that was in the first one. Yeah, because yeah. they had all the masks on yeah, all those dead bodies. Ma- I'm like, we we saw them in the last movie. What are, yeah. you, what are you talking about? I haven't seen Halloween 3. I want to watch that one. It's <laughs> pretty cool. It's good, I think uh, it's it's become a thing where like, I love Halloween happy, 3. Happy it, it became a, like a cool Halloween, thing now. Halloween. But like, it's always been cool. So, yeah. But like now people are all of a sudden... It's like, like a cult classic now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because back then when they made it, it was like... Fuck no Michael this. Myers, yeah. no Laurie, no mm-hmm. nothing. And it was like, we're going to do an anthology every year. Mm-hmm. And people were like, how about fuck off and yeah. give us Michael Myers? So is it a spoiler to know who the killer is? Like In Halloween 3? Yeah. Or what? No, it's, I don't think so. I mean, it's not really it's not one really person. It's not really a killer. It's like oh, an yeah. organization that's yeah, doing Yeah, it's an it. organization. Oh. Yeah, they're like planting. Uh, it's like the masks that they're selling are turning kids into like snakes yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fucking, it's weird, fucking bro. strange oh, wow. dude it's so really it's cool like, the whole though. scene with snakes and you're like yeah. what yeah oh yeah all right it's yeah. pretty cool I'll check it out yeah yeah, yeah check it did out did you get it's, the it's shout fun. did you shout remasters that they just came out with no oh for Halloween one through five no oh no i no i remember seeing that no i yeah. haven't gotten it yet i still had i think JTE, Josh, I think he got me like the Halloween box set just as like a jet, like a kind gesture. Oh, really? I was like, oh my God, that's sweet. Damn, that's now I want to get all the fucking, the, the remastered shit. Yeah, so they, Shout just put them out. They just came out officially like last week. I pre-ordered them in like July, but it's Halloween one through five. <clears throat> and the ones that I got, they're also come with like a vinyl. Oh, album. shit. It okay. only has like a couple songs, yeah. but it's like a whole case. Ooh. It's like super fucking fancy shit. Okay. So they so, were like... F- Fuck the curse. Yeah. Fuck curse. <laughs> Fuck H2O. Well, Fuck yeah, because rest. all those movies are like owned different by companies. different distributors. Oh, so I don't yeah. know. Because they did that Friday the 13th box set. And I think yeah. one through three or four has like new 4K remasters. But then it has like Freddy versus Jason, mm. the remake, and Jason X. And those were made a new line. Yeah. So those are just like the old Blu-rays from the early 2000s. Damn. So... Oh. All these horror movies, man. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, well, there you have it. Yeah. Halloween kills. There it is. Uh, is that our spoiler talk? I think, I think that's the Any more I, I don't think I can't think move of, the candle. Is there anything else I want to think about? Anything else? Can you think of I anything I think that's else? mostly it. I feel like I've aired yeah. most of my grievances yeah. with that movie. Like, like it's it's not, I'm not going to like write letters, you know? Oh, it's no. like, no, it's, it's nothing. I mean, if I were to honest, if I honestly were to rank like my top five, it would still be the original Carpenter movie. Mm-hmm. 2018. Oh, that's high up. Wow. Maybe Kills. Mm-hmm. And then H2O. And then what? H2O. H2O is awesome. And when's the last time you've seen it? Like a few months ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, And it's a quick like 90 minutes. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's maybe I need to rewatch short. it. Like maybe mm-hmm. it'll be like swapped in there. But I would definitely say my top five are the two new ones, the original yeah. H2O, and probably Halloween 2 or Halloween 4. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like Halloween 4 a lot. Yeah. I, I mean, it's a reboot of the first movie, but, you know. Yeah. Jamie Lee were, Curtis? No, she's no, not. No, 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 no. It's her there, daughter. There was so yeah. much potential with that, especially with the ending, and then yeah. five just craps all over it. Just mm. completely craps all over it. Yeah. All right. There Good it time. is. Good Halloween time. kills. We I'm going to move the candle, candle off.